Yes, honey. Hi guys and welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Dana. I am a homeschooling mama to four little ones. This year I have a third grader, a second grader, a preschooler, and a two-year-old. Today, as you can tell from the title, I'm going to be focusing on my preschoolers and toddlers morning routines and rhythms, but specifically their routines and homeschooling, what we're currently doing, what they're loving, what we're kind of putting into our learning basket on our weekly rotation. Something that I love doing is Sunday night, so the night before, I will put in their basket everything that we're going to be working on for the week so the goals I have the activities that I know they'll want to do but I do try to change that every single weekend that way on Monday morning everything is kind of fresh and new and exciting that way it's just not the same thing it gets them excited about it there are a few things that do remain consistent like she's doing a little um, McGuffey readers just the letter part but she feels so big and loves doing it and she's so proud that she has her little little school book like her older brother and sister so things like that will remain consistent um, but I thought I would show you kind of what is in rotation this week for her I'm really excited um, to share that with you and also to give you a look at really what it looks like when I'm sitting down doing these little learning activities with her just as a disclaimer everything that I'm going to be showing you in this basket today or the books games activities whatever it is that we are going to be doing I don't know yet because we haven't started for the day um, but this is not something that we do back to back. So we don't go from book to activity to writing to like all the little things. It's honestly like five minutes here, three minutes here, 10 minutes here. Sometimes it takes a whole day to do all those little things. After this video, I think I'm also going to be doing a routine and rhythm based video for my second grader and third grader. And just as I mentioned for this video as well, when I do that video is going to again be focusing on their curriculum, the activities that they're doing, things that we've changed for them, things that we're maybe just like switching out and things like that. But that's what the focus is going to be when it comes to doing that video. And then my third video that I'll be doing this little mini series will be the real life look at the video where I turn the camera on and you will just quite literally come along with us for our homeschooling morning where you'll see all the distractions as beautiful as they are and you're going to see like homeschooling second grade and third grade while toddlers and everything at the same time so the third video in this series will be very much more real life than just giving you a look at what we're doing and a routine and rhythm if that makes sense Anyway, with all that being said, I'm going to go ahead and gather all of my things that I'm going to be doing for my preschooler. So a couple of the things that both my toddler and preschooler love starting our day off with, and that is just a simple kind of my daily calendar, or I guess what you would call the traditional sense calendar time. Uh, they love it. And I actually do wipe all of this clean at the end of every week. That way Monday, even though we're in the same month, I like them to kind of get used to the sounds of all the months and kind of the meaning of it. So we'll put in, so now October we'll put in today's date the season and the weather but we'll do that on a daily basis just to again get used to the days of the week and the numbers and kind of like how that relates to everything but down here we have all the seasons we even have the weather so they can take the little weather thingies and put that on there and this is something fun that they look forward to every single morning and it's also something that they'll run out to the window they'll check the weather see what that's like and then they'll come and 
put it on here. So it's really, really sweet. And it's something so simple, but it's something, again, they look forward to. The other thing that we do in our family is we do a visual schedule. This is not something that just my toddler and preschooler love. It's something that my second grader and third grader love as well. It's so easy to look up here, see where we are at in the day, and then there's really no questions as far as what we're doing next. Now, we're not confined to a strict hour by hour schedule. This is really just a routine, or should I say rhythm, I guess, of our days. Um, but so we've already done breakfast, as you saw this morning. We already did a few chores. So chores in the morning for our family. So this will typically be after breakfast, I'll clean up from breakfast, and then that's when they will go make their beds, get ready for the day, and things like that, like um, toss any dirty clothes in the washing machine, and that just normally takes 10, 15 minutes. And then because we have breakfast typically around 8.30 before 9, chores are normally done and we're done with all cleanup by 9.30, because even though we don't have a schedule, it's kind of naturally how we've started our day. Um, but I do try to start school at 10 only because I do like to be done with all of our core book work around like 12.31. And then we'll have like a little bit of a later lunch depending if we need to go over. So we'll have our school time and then we'll have lunch and then all afternoon is normally just free play. They get to do whatever they want. And then around three or four in our afternoon, that's when everyone gets a little bit tired and they're ready to do something together as a family. Um, we'll do our read alouds. And this is also the time typically around that three to four o'clock time is I will take that hour before I get into another busy routine. And I've talked about this before on my channel as well, where I love having this reading time here because that lets me um, be done with my afternoon chores because what my schedule looks like like while they're free playing and while the baby's napping that's normally when I'm doing laundry and catching up on chores and things like that um, but this time here I love because again it's at three to four o'clock time I haven't started my evening like dinner prep time yet so this is a beautiful time to fill up their cups again give that undivided attention um, and get them ready to go into our evening routine so I love having that hour and I highly recommend um, if you're a homeschool mama as well. If I start dinner time, we eat later. Like I know everyone eats a little bit at a different time, but we eat normally around 6, 6.30 that way my husband's home. Um, so around five, I'll start prepping dinner because it takes a little over an hour. Um, but if you can take that last hour before dinner and just do read aloud and then read aloud for half an hour, 45 minutes, um, fill up your little one's cups, and then you all work together and tidy up the house before dinner. That way after dinner, it's just a fun evening time. So that's typically what we are doing in our family right now. We love it and it works. And again, having the visual, um, my kids love, they love it. So um, this is actually something I just created on Canva. If you guys um, want to print it off, I'll put it on my blog, link down below um, if, you, if you want it for yourself. So what I did to keep her activity separate is I put all of her little toddler things that we're doing for the week, I put them in a basket and I just slide it under the table. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab that and I'll show you exactly what's inside. All right, I hope you guys can see everything okay. As I mentioned at the beginning of the video, these are not things that we do every single day. However, by the end of the week, everything has been kind of played with, we've gone through it, and then I can switch out the activities for the following week. But a few of the things, and I'll show you guys what those are, do stay in here for the following weeks. Anyway, on the top here, I have this little wooden tracing board for the letters. She's learning how to trace all of her letters and kind of form letters. And we've been doing several different activities with this, but I really like this one. It has the little arrows if you can see on it. I'm gonna show you like what direction to go. And I love this because she can also like in her head, it's easy for her to go one, two, three, like one, two. And then, so it's easy to see how many strokes go for each one. It does come with the little wooden tracing thing. Let me get it out here really quick. Um, but what I do when it comes to having things like this in my school basket, is I keep all of the little writing things separate, otherwise they're most likely to walk off and get lost. So I don't keep the writing utensils with the actual project, if that makes sense. So this is a little wooden dowel and she can take this and trace all the letters on it. But I love this so, so much. It has both the uppercase and then also has the lowercase on the back, which I love. I do know a lot of these, a lot of the ones I've seen only have uppercase. And for her, what we've been doing is we've actually been learning both the uppercase and lowercase at the same time, even when it comes to what the letter sounds make just so it's easier to I don't know for her she's actually learned quicker with recognizing both lowercase lowercase and the uppercase together so I love this it's from the brand Kugum 
So the next thing I have in here are just some basic flashcards. I have these ones because again, it has both the uppercase and lowercase, and we are learning them at the same time. So these are wonderful. They're really affordable, really, really simple. But again, it's both the upper and lowercase. So we've been learning both of these. This is something that does not change. I do keep these in her baskets um, for whatever we're learning. So this is something that will stay in here. Another thing she's been loving, as I mentioned in the beginning of my video, is she's doing the McGuffey's electric primer and she's only doing the first little page here with the letters but I cannot tell you how excited and happy she gets when we sit down and she can pick out again the uppercase and lowercase but because it's in a little book just like her big brothers and sisters even though they're using the original it doesn't look just like this but it just makes her feel so big to have a book to open um, and she loves it so we're again working on all the sounds the letters make and then we'll look at the pictures sometimes and pronounce all of those, hence the little scribbles, um, and she'll pick out letters that the word starts with, like she knows um, dog starts with a D and things like that. So that's just the way that to use this in the little years uh, to make them feel really, really special because they get a big kid book. <laughs> anyway, the other thing I have up at the front that we use, this is something that has actually stayed in her basket for three weeks now, just because she loves it so much. So this is the, again from Kugel, the magnetic letters and numbers. This is a word spelling game. You can learn math and ABC. So this is great for the little tiny years, but you can also use this all the way up through. Honestly, my second and great, second and third grader have loved this as well. Um, but another way we can use this, and again, it's probably not the way you're meant to be using it, but I'm just gonna go ahead and mention it while I'm thinking about it. And that is my second and third grader. We'll get a dry erase marker and just do hangman on this. So they'll write on this and then put all the letters on here since it's magnetic. So they'll create a little hangman and then they'll put on, put on the letters and like spell words. So this is a great thing for if you're traveling and you want it to be magnetic and you can be learning on the go, you can spell words. You can put the letters up here and ask your toddler, okay, what letter sound does this make? So if you are in the front seat and you want to say, show this to your toddler who's in the back, like, okay, show mommy what that letter is. Um, that's a fun way to do it because again, it's magnetic, but you've got little weather things in here you've got numbers you also have all the math symbols so again it's multiplication so you can use that for second third grade as well um, but then also has your card so you can draw a card out and then they have to spell it so one of the ways that I've done this with my second and third grader is like okay can you spell the word coat so because it's interactive and hands-on they'll take the lid they'll put it up here and then they'll spell the word coat what I do really just for my toddler and preschooler though is I'll just have them go on a letter hunt. They'll dig through here, find the letter, and then put it on the board. And then we'll find all kinds of letters to put up here. And they'll tell me kind of what each each one says. So that's something that we've been really, really been enjoying right now. And then another thing that we've been doing along with the alphabet thing is this puzzle. All of my kids love this, but especially my toddlers. So you just take the little thing and put it where it goes, like you match the letters. This is something that doesn't have the lowercase, it's just uppercase. So my two-year-old really loves doing this because she's starting to like recognize letters and things like that. Um, but this is just another fun activity. We have, this is really, really scratched as you can tell, but we traveled with this all summer as one of our little main travel activities. My kids loved it. They all four were playing with it because it's very toddler friendly. You can do it for all the ages, but also the older kids having fun, the toddlers loved it. Anyway, it was just a ton, a ton of fun. So I wanted to share that with you just because we've been using it so much this summer. So the next thing I have is from the brand called Simply Magic. This is their fun handwriting activities. And I love this so much. First of all, if you can find anything that is dry erase, you can erase and do it over and over again. It's wonderful. Again, I love that the alphabet has uppercase and lowercase, and this is all pre-writing activities. So this is something that they love, love doing. And again, this came with a whole bunch of the little dry erase markers. But as I mentioned before, I keep all of them separately in here. That way they don't get lost, but they love this. And this is another thing too that we also traveled with this summer uh, because it's just so easy. And it's something that again can be used over and over again. Um, so a great, a great travel friendly type thing. The other thing I have in here is also from the brand Kugel. This is the magnets, letters, and numbers. And this is amazing because there's a ton, a ton 
ton of things in here. I will say if you're not a fan of loose parts, this is something that you would definitely want to get and then keep up on your shelf and keep it very specifically for your learning time and school time. So this is one of those things I just did put in my basket to do this week. However, it's one of those things where I kind of have already told my little ones, I was like, this is only for school. It's not to like get out and play with because I could just see the, all these little pieces getting everywhere. However, you can utilize it so much because you can put this little board up here. It has your little dry erase markers and your little eraser down there. So you can write on it, but you can also um, use the little magnetic letters and create words and things like that. And then right now, because we're not ready for blending words, we're just putting all the letters in. We're learning the different vowels. And so she can put them all up there and kind of create her own little her own little words and stuff. So I love this. Again, it's something I would definitely keep just for school only because of all the little pieces. Um, but if your child is a visual learner and a hands-on learner, I do highly recommend it because it is so, so much fun. It is so much fun through little years, being able to actually feel the pieces, put the words together, see what the, feel it and say, okay, this is an A, you can put it on here, pronounce it and things like that. So had to highlight that as being one of our, one of our current favorites as well. Let's see, what else do I have in here? I have our, this is something that I've actually had for years, um, as you could probably tell because it's falling apart, but this is the fall pre-writing activities. This is very similar to this, um, only instead of the actual letters, this is just pre-writing. So I laminated a whole bunch of these little sheets and some of them are falling out, but and you can just go through and do some pre-writing activities with your toddlers. So you can start, I, this was like a cutting thing, but I ended up just laminating it and then she practices tracing the lines and stuff. But this is wonderful and you can get so many of these like pre-writing sheets just online for free and you can laminate them and again, put them in a three ring binder and use them over and over again. So you don't necessarily have to buy any like free writing thing. You can kind of create your own um, based on your child's interests as well. But this is a fall one, so I thought I would share that. I'll see, it, it came from Inspire the Mom, I think is the name. Um, I'll see if I can find it, so I'll link it down below. It's been years though, since I've had, maybe four years ago that I printed that off. So I'll see if I can still find that. Uh, other couple things I have back here is I have just a simple coloring book. This is The Lord God Made Them All. Um, and she just enjoys coloring. And this is something that I'll keep. And if she wants to do it while I'm working with her older siblings, I'll grab this and it'll give her, give her something fun to do right next to mommy so she feels still feels included with us. And then this is one of our favorite purchases from a recent homeschooling convention. It's from the brand Chalk Full of Design. First of all, I have to say, I love the family that created this and the owners of this company. Sweet, sweet family, another homeschool family. And they have literally so many designs. Just an incredible, incredible business. Anyway. These are the ones that I got for my toddler. If you saw my math video, I showed you the ones that have like the blank math boards where it has the little squares for the two numbers plus the answer. So I have those, but these are the ones I have for my toddler. Again, a pre-writing one and then one of just all the shapes and stuff. So she loves those. And again, I keep the chalk right at hand in here. So everything she needs is gonna be in this basket together. So this is probably my favorite thing that we got from Kugum. It's a little magnetic one. Again, the little thing for it is in here. Let me grab it really quickly. But this is just a little magnetic writing thing. So you take the little ballpoint pen and it just brings up all the magnetics. I love this. This is great, honestly, for like sensory things as well. This is a wonderful way if you have a more hands-on and sensory-based learner to where they feel, they can actually really feel the movements of the letters with this. And I love it so much. It's honestly really fun for adults to do as well. Like sometimes my second and third grader would just be here bringing all the magnets up, but they're just, again, little magnetic balls that they they love doing so I love this and this is something that stays it definitely stays inside the basket since we've gotten it which was a month and a half ago now and then of course I have let me grab it here really quick sorry there's a lot of stuff in here is I have my little years of volume one uh, she went and decorated the cover of it so, so there's a bunch of fruit and stuff on it um, I have our little hedgehog up here that I will take this out and we'll play hide and seek before we start our day. That's what that is. Um, and then this is our main core of what we do on a daily basis. So a lot of these things, because we've done this, I am almost ready to make live the second volume. 
because of our very busy August and September, again, we'll get to that in a later video, I had to delay finishing the second volume. Anyway, it is now finished now. By the time this video goes up, it should be done. Um, so we're gonna print that off and get that ready. But this is just another one of those little pre-writing. It's also some shapes and numbers, um, critical thinking skills, little games and activities. Just a really fun little preschool activity book. And again, all kinds of letters and stuff that she can trace in numbers. This is her core of her little preschooler, I guess you can say curriculum, that she does do on a daily basis. She'll pick out a few pages and, and do that. So as I mentioned again at the beginning of the video, um, this is not something that we're going to do every single day. It is something that we do throughout the week. So do keep in mind with all these things in here I love she loves but we only do again a few at a time and as I also mentioned it's just five minutes here ten minutes here so a lot of the times when I know that I'll have her attention for five minutes that's when I'll get something like this out and we'll sit down and do a little game together for five minutes but I'm always so surprised that five minutes here and five minutes there is really significant and plenty um, really to accomplish everything that we need to in the little years so I love that. Anyway, I'm gonna go grab her and get everything set up and then I'll take you along with us as we do some of the fun activities. Okay. Oh, that's good. 